Hello YouTube, Echo here. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Today is my birthday and let me tell you it is really, really hot and humid out there. Um, yeah, it's, it's, I don't even know how hot it is. It's, um, honestly it reminds me of the weather that we would have in the summer, um, back in Florida when I lived there for two years. It's that humid and just really disgusting and muggy. Um, it is not a day to be outside doing much of anything, to be honest, but um, I went and had lunch with my parents and my little brother, um, and then I went to a couple thrift stores, so I decided uh, for today's video that I would um, show you guys my thrift store finds, so I'm just going to get right into it because there's a lot to show. I got some really cool things. Oh, that's heavy. Okay, maybe not. Okay. So I went to a Goodwill first. And I scored this really cool Cookie Lee. I might have to back up. It's so big. Really cool Cookie Lee uh, footed. Either jewel. I think it's a jewelry case. It's like a jewelry case organizer. Um, maybe travel case. Um, it's like almost like a binder. Um, has a couple different pages on it. Um, so that's cool. I kind of I looked it up when I was in the store, and they go for I think about like twenty to twenty five dollars. But I paid um, I think about eight dollars on that. So I get a pretty good return on that one. So that was neat. And it's in pretty darn good condition. And then here is just a little Tommy Hilfiger purse that I picked up. Nothing too special or fancy about it, but um, it's in really nice condition, and it was the color of the week. Um, so it was $5.99 and then half off. And then um, actually an additional 20% off that. Um, so that was made it, you know, even less expensive. So a cool little find. It's always nice to find, you know, designer brands. They're usually really easy to sell. Now this one I'm like super excited about. Oh my gosh. Sorry about the noise. My two-year-old cat is going nuts because he's so happy I'm home. Um, so I'm really excited about this one. Um, this is actually Brighton. Um, it's a really, really good, well-known brand. Um, and I scored this for, I believe, $6.99. And then, again, an additional 20% um, uh, off. So I was pretty darn happy with that. So there's the... There's the inside of that, so that's in really, really nice condition, and it has the, the authenticity there with the serial, the serial number, so, yeah, so that's really neat. I was super excited to see that there, because I, I hardly ever see Brighton in the stores anymore, so, very pleased to have that. And then next, this can use a little bit of cleaning up, but it's not, it's not too bad. Just a little light surface clean is all it needs. And this is um, a really cute Winnie the Pooh Disney, um, call it like a tote bag or maybe even like a, a diaper bag. But I checked the inside and it doesn't have any like nasty stains or smells or anything like that because, ew, I would not buy something if it did because that would just be disgusting. But yeah, it's, it's pretty clean. It just has some little bit of general wear on the outside, but that's normal. But yeah, that's really cute. And I think I got that for either $5.99 or $7.99. That one didn't have a price on it, but again, 25, you know, 20 percent off. Um, off the top so pretty good deal on that it's always nice to get Disney you know at such a steep discount 
I got this really neat Steve Madden purse that's, um, as far as I can tell, it's pretty much in new condition. I really can't see any condition issues with it whatsoever, but really cool kind of fold over um, adjustable crossbody bag, which is re really cool, kind of an off white and melon orange color. I really like that a lot. If I needed a purse, I'd probably just keep that for myself. And I only paid $5.99 for that. But that was actually a great buy, especially for Steve Madden. Yeah, that's like totally pristine inside. I don't think anybody ever used this. Um, so yeah, $5.99 and then an additional 20% off. Great deal on that. What else do we have here? Sorry about all the paper noises. I'm got some breakable knick-knacky things too. So I got this really cute little vase or ring jar, um, milk glass. It's definitely vintage uh, milk glass. It's in really nice condition. There's just um, there's a couple little chips on the underside of a couple of the the rings, but and then one here on the top, but um, with my discount, it was, um, I think it was like a dollar fifty. so I was like, why not? It's cool, it's vintage, you know. Save it from, save it from the trash, right? From the trash pile. Um, what else did I get? I got a, really, a lot of really cool stuff at that Goodwill. I was super pleased. This, um, I'm I'm going to have to look up. Um, unfortunately, some kid poured, um, I'm going to say that, you know, that slime stuff that everybody's so obsessed with. Um, there's like a bunch of that in here. Um, here let me pull some of it out. Um, um, I mean, it shouldn't be too hard to, to clean out with like a, I don't know, some sort of a hook or something. I can even get my finger in there a little bit and get some of it out, but it's like this squishy slime stuff that some kid, it was like all over the counter that this object was on, um, and everything, but, um, but this was $3.99 and I, th I think it's real copper. Um, and it's a little, it's a little coin bank. I definitely think it's vintage. Has a little, a little, you know, lock thing there that I think it, I, it wouldn't actually open. It's just for decoration. But um, and then it's missing its bottom part. But that's pretty typical of of vintage pieces. And then it says Sparbank Voor de Stadt Amsterdam. So, um, so it's international. It's from Amsterdam. So that's really cool. So yeah, I'm gonna have to definitely look that up. I just thought that was really neat. Um, and that was, as you can see, $3.99 and then, um, 20% off that. So I thought for, you know, less than four bucks, um, it was worth it to, you know, take a gamble on. It's kind of cool. So yeah, I'll have to look that up and, you know, see what the history is on it. So thought that was a cool piece. So, all right, on to the next. This one I just thought was charming. It's definitely, um, I think, vintage again. And um, if if I have a hard time selling it, he might just have to live on my wall because I think he is adorable. Um, I think I said in one of my other videos that I absolutely love owls. And this little guy is just so charming with his little eyes. Um, yeah, he is just so precious, um, with the moon there. And see, he's all, he's all mounted really nice. Um, and it says, handcrafted by Green Mountain, um, Inc. Trout Creek, Montana. So, yeah, it definitely has a little bit of age to it and just really, really cute, um, with the vintage style and the, you know, just the, the hand-carved, um, 
detailing. Yeah, I just, I really like the look of that. That's very, very nice. And I think that was a dollar ninety nine before my discount. So again, not, not too shabby. And this one, I actually had to do a double take on the price. Um, I don't know much about the maker. Um, and there is a little bit of damage on his, his coat there, but I don't think that should affect the value too terribly much because it's not, it's not too, too noticeable and otherwise he's in pretty good condition. Um, but this, this fancy gentleman, um, looks like from probably about the mid Obviously, he's dressed in the mid-1700 um, area clothing. It's obviously not from that, but um, let me see what it says. Left in China, hand-painted um, Brian for Wendy Hart. Six fifteen ninety. So I'm guessing from nineteen ninety because definitely not eighteen ninety. Um, but and he was only two ninety nine. So I figured even with the damage, I can probably make three dollars off of him. So I thought he was quite the the fancy little gentleman. So that was cool. Oh goodness, my box is already getting full. Squish, squish. Alright, let's see what else we have. I got so much stuff today, I don't even remember some of this. I'm like, what is this? I don't remember. Oh, I remember this now. Okay. Alright, so this is... I don't know if this has any real age to it. It's actually a lot brighter yellow there we go now it's picking up the real color um just it's i just thought this was was a nice little um ceramic jar it says original spices established 1893 number one quality and then handcrafted in portugal for sur la table so I just thought it was really cool with the with the cork top and stuff. I don't think it really has any any age to it. I think it's more of like something you would get at like I don't know Home Goods or something like that. But I I just thought it was something nice and you know would decorate somebody's table or counter and you know you can put little spices and stuff in there. So and it was it was only a dollar ninety nine. So I thought that was a neat little buy. Goodness, this one's heavy. I, I don't remember this one. Oh, yes, I do. I lied. Here we go. And I got, as I said in my other video, I can't escape Mickey Mouse. He is my former boss and he follows me everywhere I go. So, of course, I had to pick up this um, Mickey and Minnie snow globe, or as some people call it, water globe. Um, it says, I've picked the I've picked the perfect pal. It has cute little flowers all the way around. And yeah, so I thought that was really cute. And it's uh, Disney licensed by Inesco Group. So that's cool. I didn't check to see if that works. Yeah, so the music works on it. So that's good. I totally forgot to check that before. I probably should have done that. But it works, so that's okay. My bad. And now it's going to play music for us for several minutes. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay. And probably um, my, not even probably, definitely my best find from Goodwill. I'm definitely going to have to do a little bit of research on this. But, um, and I almost didn't even see it except for the color um, kind of looked... Sorry, I'm trying to get tape off of it so I can show it to you guys properly, but um, except for the color looked kind of like sterling, 
Um, I haven't seen any marks for sterling, but I'm definitely going to acid taste test it in a bit and see if it might be. But it, it, if anything, it's probably just plated because um, most things that are sterling have some sort of mark on them that announces that. And I don't see any, any type of hallmark or anything on here. Um, and it doesn't have enough age on it to, um, for a hallmark to have completely worn away. So, um, sorry, bear with me. This tape has probably been on here a while. Um, but at least they did not use rubber bands. Because rubber bands on silver and silver plating can actually, like, ruin the tone. Um, and just give it this really awful, like, black coloring that you can't get off. It's Yeah, it's kind of nasty. Um, almost got it. Grr. Get off. You are some nasty cheap tape. I don't like you. Grr. Get off, get off, get off. Okay, I got it. And that tape can go bye-bye. So, this is... 100 acre wood natural sugar tin. And you can see there it has Winnie the Pooh on it. And like I said, I almost passed it up because it's so kind of in just inconspicuous looking. You know, it doesn't have like the, the coloring or anything. It's just all kind of silver colored. Um, and then, but then I saw the bottom and the bottom says, based on the Winnie the Pooh works, copyright AA, so and so, you know, so on and so forth, and then copyright Disney. Um, and then I noticed that it still had, you know, it still had the lid, and then it still has its spoon even. So... Yeah, I thought that was actually pretty darn neat. I've never seen, um, I've never seen this item, and I've seen a lot of Disney items. Um, but yeah, to find this at, at Goodwill, and this definitely has age to it. Um, I'd be very surprised if it wasn't from like the very beginning of when Disney got the copyrights um, to Winnie the Pooh, because yeah, this this definitely has has seen some years. So. Um, yeah, I'm definitely going to have to, have to look that one up. I'm really happy with that. Um, and what was that one? That one was, um, $4.99, um, before my 20% discount. But, you know, for something that cool and that unique, I was happy to pay, you know, a bit under five bucks. So, and then I got a few more purses, I picked up this, um, I don't know if it's authentic or not. I'm not like a purse expert, but, um, it says Gucci, um, and it was $7.99. It's in kind of shoddy, kind of janky condition. Um, has, you know, quite a bit of wear and stuff to it. Um, so yeah, it's really not in that great, a, great a shape even if it is authentic, but, um, you know, I figure if I take really good pictures and, you know, throw it up on eBay with a starting bid of like, you know, I don't know, $4.99 or $9.99 or something and see where it goes. If it goes anywhere, then that would be cool, but don't often see Gucci at Goodwill. So that was kind of neat. How many are you? And then I found this nice big Betsy Johnson. Um, I think it's a laptop case. I'm pretty sure it is. Again, it's not in the best of condition, but um, I think it was the color of the week, so it was half off, so it was only like four bucks. But yeah, it has like some pretty big condition issues. Um, you know, but it's still Betsy Johnson and it's still cute. So figured, hey, why not? You know, Betsy Johnson always sells. So. And what did I get? What one is this? Okay. 
Okay. Um, this one is oh, Croft and Barrow. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but I thought the purse was really good looking. It's in excellent condition. Um, has a nice design on it. And it was also the color of the week. Um, I don't remember how much this one. Oh, $7.99, so um, $4. So it was half price, $7.99, so $4. And then an additional 20% off that. So, yeah, less than 4 bucks for Coffin Barrow. Um, really nice purse. So I jumped on that one. I thought that was really cool. This one's just a nice, simple, kind of on the small side, um, blue tote bag by Reaction by Kenneth Cole. I just thought that was kind of nice and simple. It actually has a zippered top to it, which um, I know a lot of people look for. Um, and this was also the color of the week. So instead of $9.99, it was five dollars um with an additional 20 percent off so not a bad little find kind of kind of cool stuff is always popular what else do we have got so much cool stuff oh, I, remember this. I got okay it needs to be cleaned but i got my first coach purse um, so I'm not, I don't, um, really look for brands. I'm not really a, a designer person. Um, I don't personally own a designer purse. Um, you know, that I'm not really attracted to them that much, but, and this one's in really kind of janky condition. It's like really, really dirty. Um, but it has... I mean, it's definitely authentic. It has the, you know, the, the serial number and everything in there. So it's, it's real. And it, um, they had it priced at $8.99. So I figure I can, you know, probably get my money back pretty easily on that. You know, and it's a pretty cute design. I might see if I can spot clean it and get some of those little, little stains and, and things out. Um, so yeah, we'll see. I might be able to, to clean it up a bit, um, but otherwise it's actually pretty cute. I don't mind this this pattern at all. Pretty good find, I think. Okay, so I think that does it for Goodwill. Um, so I went to another thrift store um, that supports a Lutheran church nearby. Um, it's over in... I'm not sure if it's in Orange or Tustin. It's kind of on the, the border of those two towns, I think. I think it's still in Orange. But, um, and then um, I picked up a, I think it's still in my car because I couldn't carry everything up. But it's, I just picked up like a jewelry organizer plastic thing with several drawers for $2, which was a great buy. If I could find 20 more of those for the same price, I would be a happy girl. Um, and then down the street, I stopped at another thrift store, um, because it's my birthday and I can, um, and this one supports, um, an organization called, um, let me stop crinkling paper for a second, um, called Sheepfold. It, um, supports a women's, uh, battered women's shelter, um, for you know, women coming out of abusive relationships and, and their children. So it's, um, it's a cause that I've, I've supported before and I, you know, very much believe in. And unfortunately I've had to refer, um, you know, friends to them before. So I'm always happy to go in and shop in their store and support them. So, um, and they also have really nice stuff in their store too. Um, so I got a bunch of goodies from their store. So I got... A set of four of these um, ceramic plates 
which have this really pretty design on them. I don't usually pick up, you know, things for the kitchen that often, but, um, and it's a brand I've never heard of. It's a uh, 222 Fifth PTS International, and the design is Gabrielle Red. Um, but there's a set of four of them here, and they wanted 15 for the set of four, and they were half off. So it was $7.50 for the four plates. Um, and I was like, eh, you know, I'll, I'll take a gamble on, on those. I think they're really, really neat looking. Um, and again, it's for a good cause. So I felt, I felt pretty, pretty good about, you know, about jumping on that one. Um, and then just a few more larger items and then I have a bunch of jewelry here that that I got too so hang on for that because there's some really cute pieces in there so um okay I got this Funko Pop figure um now I'm not an expert on Funko Pop figures um whatsoever um I my really good friend Rat collects them. Um, now she had a price tag of fourteen ninety seven on there. Um, I usually pay like four to six dollars for these at um, at Goodwill, um, but she was half off of that, so it's like seven fifty. That's you know that's almost in the range of what I usually pay. So I decided to take a chance on her. Um, I was too lazy to to look online on my phone and and see what she goes for but you know again I'm a sucker for a good cause so I decided to to pick her up so it's uh Maggie from Evolve I don't know what that is I'm I, it's pop game so I'm guessing it's a video game and I'm sure there's people out there that if they heard me say that would be like how can you not know what Evolve is I'm sorry I had I don't play video games. The last video game system I owned was Super Nintendo when it was brand new. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, okay. Oh, this came apart all the way back. Uh, oh, that's that. Oh, Pippin, get off the printer. Hi, baby. Okay, come here. <laughs> are, are you going to play dead? Really? Are you playing possum? Okay, come here, son. Okay. Sorry about that. Okay, next thing is it's um it was kind of breaking in the store, so they gave it to me for a dollar fifty. But here's the top piece. It's a Winnie the Pooh lamp, Winnie and Friends. Sorry, my kitty is being very needy right now. So that's the top part. And then Here's the base. Super cute. Sorry, I know it's hard to see with the cord wrapped. So, even though it's um, the things that, I don't know what these are called, um, but the things that hold the the lampshade in place are kind of falling out. I think it, those can be replaced possibly by someone more crafty than I am. Um, I would probably just sell it in two pieces, you know, as is. Um, but yeah, not, not bad for a dollar fifty buy, you know, I'll do that all day long. So, all right. Okay. Oh, I forgot one. Sorry about that. It's a little guy who's hiding in here. Okay, my cat, Pippin, you're chewing on the edge of my laptop, baby. Hi. Hi, son. Hi, mister. Okay, let's unwrap this together, okay? So I think this, um, this one has some age to it, I think. Might be from Victorian era. I'm not quite sure. But doesn't have any marking on the bottom and I got it for 99 cents so um, it's ceramic I just I thought that was quite lovely and for 99 cents 
I was like, sure, why not? Add it to the pile. So, yeah, a little cute little vase or potpourri vase or something. So, hey baby, oh my gosh. How is six and a half pounds so heavy? Hi. All right, let's get on to the jewelry, shall we? I got some really nice jewelry and um, all of the jewelry um, at this shop was 20% off. So I will show you the jewelry and the, the price tag and then it's uh, it was 20% off of that price. So first piece was this really cute little cameo with like the little girl with pigtails. And it's a brooch and it was uh, $3.97 and then 20% off. I just thought that was really charming. I haven't had a cameo quite like that. Hi. Can I let you go? You're like a seal. You're a baby seal. Okay. And then I got these cute two-tone stud earrings. They have a bit of weight to them. I haven't checked to see if they're sterling or not. I doubt it. Not for two bucks, but you never know. Um, yeah, it doesn't look like it. Um, but I'll check them closer later. But so yeah, dollar ninety-seven. Not too shabby. Um, got this really cool clip for five ninety-seven. That is a little bit on the high side, um, price-wise, but I just sold a, like a plain butterfly clip from this same designer, which is, I believe it's John Henry, if memory serves correctly. Um, and I believe I sold that butterfly clip um, for $15. So um, I figured I can probably sell this one for if not around the same, you know, then even a little bit more because of the detail. So I decided to jump on that. Next up are these really cool kind of tribal or bohemian earrings that are really popular these days. And those were $2.97 with 20% off that. So those are cool. Uh, not sterling, just two-tone. Uh, not two-tone, sorry. Silver tone. It's been a long day. I can't do the talking. <laughs> um, what else? Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. There's a lot of pieces in here. I kind of went nuts at their jewelry counter, but everything was, like, super reasonably priced for the most part. Um, there was a couple pieces that were sterling that were a bit higher priced, like $20 each, and I was, you know, I didn't want to pay quite that much but um but there was a lot of stuff that was super reasonably priced um I love this look at that gorgeous purple flower with tons of sparkles for those rhinestones and that was only $2.97 as well so I could probably sell that for like 15 to 20 so that's gorgeous I absolutely love that and it's kind of a like a coppery tone metal so it's yeah it's really interesting looking too interesting color combination um, there's the ones I want to show you I don't know I'll see them in a minute I thought this was a cute little little brooch only a dollar 97 with 20% off I thought that was super pretty Nice and small. I like the little dainty ones. That was cool. Okay, then this ring was uh, $2.97. That's a nice statement ring with, I think that's probably just like a faux onyx or something in there. Kind of cool. Da, da, da. And Pippin is trying to climb inside plastic bags. 
because that's what Pippin does. He loves going inside plastic bags. It's like his favorite place to be besides my lap. Okay, I thought this one was really neat. Um, this is actually not a brooch. It's it's actually like a hair barrette clip type thing. Um, but it's like a tribe of elephants or pack or... Um, I don't remember. I think it's a tribe, maybe. But a family of elephants. Um, and I thought that was really sweet. And it was only $1.97. So even better... Um, but yeah, I thought that was a really cool piece. I actually really like that. And then I got this really nice vintage swan brooch. Gold tone with the little rhinestone for an eyeball. It's really pretty. Nice and shiny. And that was $2.97 as well. This piece is really cool. This is Betsy Johnson. Um, it has some condition issues. Um, two, uh, the tips of two of the flowers have been broken off. You can see um, there and then there. And then it's missing uh, one of the rhinestones um, here. Sorry. But um, I still thought it was really cool with the, you know, the the stem and the thorns being the band of, of the rose. Um, and it was four ninety seven, and she gave it to me for half off. So it was only two fifty. Um, so yeah, Betsy Johnson ring for two fifty. I'll jump on that. Even with condition issues, I think it's really cool. So yeah, I was super happy to get that one. Even if no one buys you, I love you. <laughs> All right. This is a neat little stretchy statement ring. Look at that. Ooh, look how shiny that is. Look how that catches the light, too. At first I thought it was a brooch, but when I picked it up, I was like, oh my gosh, it's a ring. It's definitely an eye catcher. Yeah, that's really neat. And then the, the band, that. And that was $2.97 with, again, 20% off of that. So, again, like super reasonable prices on, on these. I was really thrilled to get so many lovely pieces for, for really reasonable prices. So, I absolutely love this one. This is so cool. It's an umbrella with cat and dog heads. It's raining cats and dogs. <laughs> I think that's so cute. And it was only $2.97, again. Um, it says Ultra Craft on the back. So it might be that like the pieces were sold separately and somebody put them together. Um, so it might have been, you know, handmade. Um, which is cool. I just, I think that's adorable. It's raining cats and dogs. Woof, woof, meow. Um, sorry, I'm a little loopy today. I only got about three hours sleep last night for some reason. I just could not fall asleep to save my life. So, yeah, I'm a little woohoo. Um, all right, next one. I'm not sure what this is supposed to depict, but it's really pretty. Um, maybe a pair of wings or maybe two leaves. Um, I think it might be two leaves, but... I thought it was pretty and sparkly and it was a dollar ninety seven plus twenty percent off of that so I was like hey I'm gonna buy that why not right super pretty and then with the with the loop the the part up there is almost like a bezel so you could almost just wear that as a pendant too so I thought that was kind of neat so, yeah, I thought that one was cool and for less than, oh, you know what, actually it might be, you could also see it as like a whale's tail, too. The tail of a whale. Okay, I'll stop. 
Ah, I'm going crazy. Okay, these ones are super pretty. Um, again, I don't think that they're sterling, but yeah, I didn't check like any of these before I bought them. I was just like, two bucks, yep, I'll take them. Three bucks, yep, I'll take them. Um, these are super. I don't, I don't know if they're natural stone or they're just like tin foil in there and some color, but those are really, really cool. I like the. I like the effect in there. It's yeah, it almost has like a tin foil effect, and then some like uh, dark teal blue around the edges. Um, yeah, it literally looks like tin foil, but it has a cool effect. So yeah, they're kind of neat. Two ninety seven plus twenty percent off. So yay. keep telling myself I will stop buying Christmas things but when they're only a dollar 47 plus you know plus 20 percent off I'm like eh, what's one more right um, so here's a pretty little Christmassy bow um, in pretty good condition um, has a couple little like tarnish spots but um, nothing wrong with that that can probably be cleaned up and it's and it's signed. I didn't even notice that before. Why does that say Roman? Oh, okay. I've, I've sold Roman stuff before. So that's cool. I'll just add that to my ever-growing collection of Christmas jewelry. I do sell some of it once in a while, though. So it's, that's, that's good. It grows and it shrinks and it grows some more. Okay, and then there's this cute little modern brooch that's vintage style but I don't think it has actual age to it it's just pretty and that one again was a dollar 97 plus the 20% off of that just a nice you know simple little modern brooch These are, I should have thought those were cute. I think they're kind of like leopard print and then almost like reptile skin on the um, silver tone on the outside. I thought they were kind of unique looking. Um, I think I might have paid a little bit too much for them, but, um, but that's okay. You know, if I paid too much for one item out of, you know, what, 30, 40, then I'm not going to complain too much, so that's okay. Um, you know, you win some, you lose some, but, you know, sometimes you get something home and you look at it more closely and you're just like, why did I buy that again? <laughs> it's okay. It happens. It's okay. You have to reassure yourself. It's okay. Okay. These are pretty dangle ones. I have that almost like gunmetal gray color, a bit shinier. They have nice, nice detail to them. I thought they were fun dangly earrings. And again, $1.49. Can't beat that. Plus the 20% off. So those are cool. And these are, I don't think these are actual crystals. I think they're just like clear plastic. Yeah, they're just clear plastic, but I thought these were fun. The stingly little faux like stalactites or crystals. Sorry, they would stop moving. Um, almost like chandelier crystals. Um, I thought they were neat. $1.97 again, 20% off that. And then last but not least, um, I got a pair of beautiful dangle hearts with some filigree design or what I would call kind of filigree um, cutouts and such. Um, I thought with the with the coloring on them that they might be sterling silver and, and I thought I could see um, on the inside of kind of the, the rounded edge 
kind of right there that there was a little bit of a marking. Um, and so I did, um, this was literally the only thing I pulled out of the bag when I got home just to acid test them. Um, and sure enough, they are sterling silver. So I'm quite pleased with these guys because they were $5.97 and then 20% uh, off that. So, and I'm probably going to sell those for about, um, about, probably about $20. Um, I'll, I'll probably clean the tarnish off of those first. Um, I think they'll clean up really nicely. I kind of have a, a secret gentle method to getting the tarnish off things really well so but yeah there's my my sterling silver fine for the day and I'm sorry my camera won't focus it it's really crappy but these are actually really really pretty and really detailed but yeah so I'm really excited about those so that is it. Thank you again so much for sticking with it and watching. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please uh, give a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. That is all. Echo out.